I'm Staff Sergeant Allie Rose. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen, released his list of priorities for 2011. The priorities include defending U.S. interest in the Middle East and South, South Central Asia, improving the health of the force by caring for service members and their families, and maintaining a ready forward presence to deter and defeat aggression. Admiral Mullen says shifting resources and efforts from Iraq to Afghanistan in the next year has slowed the Taliban's momentum. He said in 2011 we will continue the fight against the Taliban, strengthening the Afghan government and its security forces, and work with Pakistan to defeat al-Qaeda. And there's a new commander of Air Force Space Command. General William Shelton replaced General C. Robert Culler. Air Force Chiefs of Staff General Norton Schwartz spoke during the change of command ceremony Wednesday and said he has full trust in the, commanders, in the command's newest commander. Willie, Air Force Space Command is ready again to benefit from your breadth of experience, your depth of leadership, and your wealth of enthusiasm. And Linda, the families of Air Force Base Command and the Colorado Springs community are looking forward to your leadership as well. Attention to Air orders. Force Base Command was created in 1982 with the mission to provide both space and Department cyberspace capability. Special. And that's your news update. For more military news, head online to pentagonchannel.mil. The heavy airlift wing based out of Papa Air Base in Hungary is branching out, flying long-haul miss missions across the globe. C-17 crews have delivered cargo from, from Norway to Afghanistan and dozens of countries in between. Now that operation's tempo makes the job very demanding. In this report, Tech Sergeant Trevor Pedro introduces us to a loadmaster who's playing a key role on those missions. Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Thompson's been around the military for about seven years now. When I went through tech school, I was 25. Everybody else is 20, 19, 20, 21 maybe, and there was a 23-year-old in there somewhere. That might not seem like a long time, but it's his nickname that puts the C-17 loadmaster in a whole different age bracket. When I got, got to Altus, where the C-17 loadmaster initial school is, it was started out grandpa, and it kind of I was like, no, come on, I'm not that old. And the transition to Pops, and that stuck up at, all the way up to McCord, and even commanders were calling me that. So, so. For the record, he's 32, one of 10 loadmasters at the heavy airlift wing, and continually on the road running three-day long-haul missions. You do what you can to deal with it. You sleep, sleep when you can. Pops and the rest of the crew hit multiple countries, delivering cargo to Iraq, Afghanistan, and hot spots in between. A tough transition when you're coming from one of Air Mobility Command's largest bases. It's been very challenging and interesting at the same time. I came from a, a base where there was almost 50 C-17s and four active duty squadrons, seven reserve, and Papa, there's three, three airplanes and one squadron, so a big change. Despite those challenges, this seasoned NCO embraces the job. Helping these people out, moving this stuff in and out of Afghanistan and Iraq, but uh, it's going to new places and uh, the crew, the crew camaraderie is what makes it great. So. And even though he enlisted a little later than his peers, it's that motivation and perspective that will always keep Pops in the back of a C-17. Oh, it's something I live for. I, I enjoy it. So. Tech Sergeant Trevor Pedro, Papa Air Base, hungry. And coming up ahead on Around the Services, we'll take you to a warm welcome home for two warriors. But first we head downrange where Marines and sailors are working hard to build bonds with a village that has a history of insurgency. Stay with us.